For the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in settings. Click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to click on accessibility. Then we're going to scroll down to we see keyboard. And then you want to make sure that sticky keys is turned off. But if it's already off for you, then you want to turn it on and then turn it back off again. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and then type in control panel. Click on it. Once we're on it next to view by, we're going to select category and then we're going to click on ease of access. Once we're on this, we're going to click on ease of access center. Always scan this section. Then you want to scroll down and then click on make the keyboard easier to use. Then you want to turn on everything here and then click on apply. And then you want to click on OK. For the last step, we're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to expand keyboards. You might have multiple keyboards, so we need to do this for all of them. But with all the keyboards that you see, you want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. If the best driver has been installed, then we're going to go back and click on browse my computer for drivers. And then click on let me pick from a list. Then you want to install the second one that comes up, click on next. And then you want to do that for all the keyboards that you have. Once you complete everything in this video, restart your computer, then the problem should be fixed.